Today's Valentine's Day. That's why I made my nails red so I could do the backsplash. <laughs> So I got this from Home Depot, and this is going to be our new countertop. I'm going to hide the husky by flipping it around, but it's supposed to be this board right here, and it holds 750 pounds. So it's a really good worktop, and it comes with two steel bars that I won't need. I may have to cut it down a little bit, but we'll see. Nice big thick book for something that's very simple, but I guess it has other parts to it if you buy the set. Inspected! It is this much too big. So either cut it or build a spice rack. I've got some news for you. You're all bruised and confused, and you're losing your grip on the world. It's too late to repair, but don't you despair when you're pressed with your back to the wall. Cause you'll never hit bottom when nothing is breaking your fall. Say my nails red so I could do the backsplash. When you're up to your knees in quicksand you kick and you scream. When your house is on fire you reach for the I can just start.
already tell I'm going to love this countertop because it's so nice. So nice and smooth, like a real actual countertop. No, where the heck is the screwdriver? I should have been in the military because I don't take no for an answer. Am I right? I bought 10 plugins to replace all the electric. We need 22, but they only let you buy 10 for some reason. Go figure. Tell me I can't take it off. This glue is like, yikes. Yikes glue. Here's the backsplash in case you're interested. So they're kind of expensive, honestly, but this is like a permanent backsplash if you want it to be. It could have been, but Hadar didn't like it. It was okay. It's not my favorite. It's okay. Let's see. Hmm. By the way, I got this countertop. Am I purple? I feel like I'm purple. I got this countertop. It was on sale. Uh, that's why I got it. I had had it in my cart for the longest time. To buy one of these counters, uh, like real butcher block, you're looking at several hundred dollars for this size. And I got this one for $164. And it's garage tough. And it's one surface. It's not like a waved surface. It's not generic. It is a solid piece of wood this thick. There's no core board in here, cardboard. Uh, it's not hollow core, it is solid. So super, super, super excited to have something like this in my kitchen on top of some garbage cabinets, but I have a plan for those too, but that's gonna be later. It'll all work out, I think. I'm gonna use this somewhere else, probably outside. And maybe even paint it, I don't know. I like it, I mean, I, it's not my favorite, but I like it, I do like it. I know I'm going to find a surprise here. Uh, anyway, this counter, I need it to be 25 inches. It's not, and my tile is not an inch thick. It is um, probably like a little more than a quarter inch maybe. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to put a piece of wood back behind here and uh, like polyurethane it, just stain it, like a really nice piece of butcher block wood underneath of it. And I'll probably screw that in. And that will also hold the tile up because I'm not putting a, a, a board or anything to hold the tile. So I'll, I'll probably do that. You just work with what you can work with. You know what I mean? And uh, I believe this will work out just fine. It'll work out exactly how it's supposed to. I started to say this, but 
I know that there's um, going to be a surprise in this wall because most mobile homes that are this age, they have a hole in the side of the wall that you open a vent and it's on a pull chain. So when you open a vent, the fan automatically turns on. So I'm expecting to see a vent on the side of the wall here. And I really don't know if I'm gonna close that up because I've been trying to seal the house, right? But I also want a vent that takes the smoke and the smells out of the kitchen when I'm cooking. So I may leave it and just make sure that it's sealed very well when it's shut. It's like, it works on a pull chain, so like the lever goes up, and it's like a big fan, so when the lever goes up, the fan automatically turns on. They either completely remove that, there is a hole on the outside, so I'm not sure what is on the inside here, but I'm fixing to get to it. I'm going to need Hadar to take down the lights, because he ran it underneath of the uh, exhaust fan. Now this exhaust fan doesn't go outside. It has a charcoal filter. It is an exhaust fan, exhaustless exhaust fan. It has a charcoal filter. It doesn't actually, it's an unvented vent. I forget the name of it, but that sounds about right. I actually kind of like the texture that they put on here with this glue. It's cute. And I got this tile. It's packaged like this. This is a tumbled, tr tumbled travertine. It's a Cairo or Chiro. Chiaro. Three by six. Apparently I got the wrong uh, tile glue. I've chipped away at this for about an hour trying to get this glue off of here. I'm going to get the paper up as well as I can, but the glue is pretty much there. If I'm going to use this. If this doesn't work, and it may not, I have some seal tight caulk. Uh, it's like glue in the bathroom. And I'll have to get a putty or a um, gun for it, but... If this doesn't work, we'll see. Were there ever really better days? Or is it just a sentimental haze? Blanket safe and warm, a shelter from the stormy skies. The fights are all forgotten in the mist. The lonely tears are lost in the abyss. The grass is always green, the house is always clean. The smiles never seem to fade of sepia and gray a family huddled tight beneath a perfect light of dusk stand before the camera and say cheese and for the slightest moment we all freeze with smiles open wide we're frozen there in time Our sorrows hidden deep inside our minds
Were there ever really better days? Or are they just a mirror that we made? Stare it in the eyes Shatter all the lies And then go into the open wide beach There's only 12 notes on the music staff But three chords and the truth is all you really need There's only 26 letters in the alphabet But no one really cares about the ones like Q and Z You mix them all together in a soup of creativity And add some salt and grab a spoon to taste no matter if you improvised or stuck close to the recipe The soup is yours, no one can take your pot away Oh, Everything is borrowed, nothing's really new Everything's assembled from duct tape and glue We're all a patchwork piece of art Greater as a whole than the sum of our parts sound nice together that is why we choose them and some chords sound really bad so we don't really use them if we had to pay the royalties for every g and c and d there'd be a caveman with a lambo for every day of every week no one owns the words we speak we built them all together we took the little pieces and we slowly made them better it's okay to innovate but don't you feel too jaded when somebody tells you that the Simpsons already had made it Oh Everything is borrowed Nothing's really new Everything's assembled From duct tape and glue we are Okay, I'm out of that bucket So I'm done for tonight Pretty tired Start again tomorrow aren't subscribed yet please subscribe and like comment and share fully living I'm trying to use what I have let's go you got your personal Jesus over there